Good morning, students. So, as we know that our topic statistics is going on, and we have already discussed the mean by the three method that is mean, mode, and by the mean we have discussed by direct method, assumed mean method, and step deviation method. Then we have also discussed about the mean, uh, mode, and now we are doing the third central tendency that is how to find the median. In the previous video, we have already done one question. Now, this was Again, we are doing a question that is example number 8 on page 284 of RT book. Very important question and is based on the median. Now the question is class interval is given you 0 to 100, 100 to 200 like this. Frequencies is given to you here. Some unknown variable is given. X and Y is given and we have to find the value of X and Y. And what is given? The sum of frequencies is 100 and the median is given 520. Median in this question is given as 525. So if the median is 525, can you classify the median class? 525 means it will lie between 500 and 600. So this is considered as the median class. This is considered as the median class. Now first of all, what we have to find? We have to find the value of x and y. So let's start writing with the commutative frequency. And this is less than type question. So we will go on adding. This is 2, 2 plus 5, this is 7, now 7, this is x, 7 plus x, 7 plus x, and this is 12, that is 19 plus x, 19 plus 17, that is 30, 6 plus x, now 36 plus x plus 20, that is 56 plus x, then plus y also, so 56 plus x and plus y, now 56 plus x plus y, now we have to write 9 as well, so that is 65, plus x plus y and 7 we have to add so 72 plus x plus y and then 4 that is 76 plus x plus y so in this way we have written the commutative frequencies so if this is the median class so this will be considered as the commutative frequency because what is the commutative frequency we take in the formula that is the, the commutative frequency just above the median class and this is the formula of the median L plus L is the lower limit of the median class N by 2 what is N here it is the value that is equivalent to N and that is equal to the sum of the frequencies so N is 100 that is equal to 100 here height height is the class size and F is the frequency of the median class that is 20 that is 20 now we have to find X and Y so now what is given 76 plus x plus y the last will be equal to n and what is n what is n here that is 100 so it will be equal to 100 here so x plus y that is equal to 100 minus 76 so x plus y is 24 so this is our first equation and this is our first equation now put all the values and the given formula Median is equal to L plus, what is median? 525. L, lower limit of the median class, that is 500. Plus N by 2, N is sum of frequencies, that is 100. So this is 50 minus commutative frequency. Commutative frequency is just above the median class, that is 36 plus X. Divided by frequency, what is frequency here? That is 20, frequency of the median class multiply height height or basically you can say the class size what do you mean by the class size the upper limit minus the lower limit will be considered as the height or the class size so here 100 minus 0 100 200 minus 100 100 so the class size is 100 multiply 100. now 525 this will come this side minus 500 <coughs> is equal to this is 1 this is now 50 minus 36, that is 14, 14 plus x and multiply 5. Now 25, 525 minus 500 if we do, it will comes out to be 25. <clears throat> and where is the commutative frequencies? Commutative frequencies 36 plus x. Wait, so here we will write 36 in the bracket 36 plus x. So this time will also become of. 36 minus x. So here minus, minus n will come. Now 525 minus 500 that is 25. Now uh, 5 multiply <coughs> 14 that is 70 and this is minus 5 x because minus sign is 
now we have to simplify it now 25 minus 70 because 70 will change the side and here it is minus 5x so it will become minus 35 is equal to minus 5x x cancel so x value is 7 so the value of x is 7 and if the value of x is 7 and if the value of x is 7 and we know that x plus y is equal to 24 that is from equation 1 so put the value of x what is the value of x here it is <coughs> Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here it is 25 minus 70 that is equal to minus 5x and 25 minus 70 will come out to be minus 45 is equal to minus 5x and here x is equal to 9. So the value of x is 9. Correct it again. The value of x will be 9 because 70 minus 25 is 45. So now from equation where x is 9 plus we have to find the value of y is equal to 24 so y will be equal to 24 minus 9 and y will be equal to 24 minus 9 that is 15 so value of x is 9 and value of y is 15 so this is the question that is based on the median less than type of the median in which we have to find the value of x and y what is given in this question see once again the class intervals is given, the frequency is given and the sum of the frequencies is given. The sum of the frequency is given. The median is given 525. Generally we have to find the median but in this case median is given and we have to find the value of unknown variable that is x and y. So median is 525 so obviously it will lie between 500 and 600. So what we have done, we have taken this as the median class and this is the lower limit of the median class. This is the frequency of the median class. Then in the third step we have started adding and we have started writing the commutative frequencies as this is less than type so we have to add the frequencies. So therefore 2 then this is 7, 7 plus x like this we have added. Don't get puzzled because we are adding it step by step for example this is 19 plus x and then we have to add 17 so it will become 36 plus x. Similarly 36 plus x we have to add 20 that is 56 plus x. So in this way we have added. Then we have, then we know that the last term of the commutative frequency is equal to the n. And what is n? The sum of the frequencies. And here the sum of the frequencies is given in the question that is 100. Then what we have done? <coughs> this equation is given. So this is the first equation. Then we generally have put all the values in the form of the median. This is median we have given. This is the lower limit. This is n by 2. That is 100 by 2. Minus sign is there because this is 36 plus x. So then we take the minus, so both will be become of minus divided by frequency into 100. Then we have simplified 25 minus 70, that is 45, is equal to 5x. So the value of x comes out to be 9. The value of x comes out to be 9. Then what we have done, we have put the value of x in equation number 1. We have put the value in equation number 1. And when we have put the equation in equation number 1, so x is there, so we can easily find the value of y like this. So the value of y is 15. So this is a very important question, very important example. So for now in this video we will discuss only this much and in the next video we will discuss about more about the statistics that is more than type question then a new type of question will come that is less than augate and the more than augate. And in this this is question can be done graphically in the previous two or three year board question it is also coming so you have to do that also. Till then you have practice the questions based on mean, mode and median and in the next video we will discuss few more questions. So do examples as well, sold examples are very important besides the exercise. So do the examples as well. Practice the questions more and more. Maths is all about the practice. So how to have to practice the questions so that it may increase your confidence as well as the accuracy. Confidence and accuracy is very important in terms of mathematics because you have, because you need not to get the puzzle. So, uh, practice the question students in the next video we will start the new topic thank you god bless you all